Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Now, I call upon Madam Scotland to come back to Zambia now. Come and talk to us. We'll tell him. We'll tell him the truth that this man can commit a felony and pass it on to another person. This man can go to a house of parliament, annihilate it, and send members of parliament outside. And then fortunately, you have uh, the speaker who is an educated lawyer. On her own standing, she's an immaculate lawyer. But when it comes to performing the duty for the people, she has failed the mark. Because uh, when we were in the house ourselves, we knew at that time, under uh, Speaker Nabudiato, under uh, late Speaker Mwanamuambu, I mean, they are souls rest in peace. We knew that the speaker had no eyes, the speaker had no ears, the speaker has no smell. I wonder this Nelly Muti, where she acquires the eyes to see that a member of the house is misbehaving and therefore she behaves like she's a school teacher. Get out, you are misbehaving. No, it doesn't happen. Someone has to stand from the floor of the house and say, Mr. Speaker or Madam Speaker, is it in order for Edith Nawaki to say or do one, two, three? That's the only time the speaker hears. And then if it is anathema or in breach of the rules of the house, the speaker will refer that matter to the standing committee of the house. But this speaker here, she's a school teacher. She just says, get out, get out, get out. And these uh, members of parliament, I also laugh at them because if he were to send me out, I would walk out with a mess and therefore there would be no speak. Because that mess which they put there, that's what is called the speaker. If I, I were to be chased out, I would bow, go and get that and run outside and the house collapses. But it looks like uh, these colleagues are not tutored on what the rights of being in the house are. But definitely... This speaker, left on her own, I believe Speaker Nelly could actually shine on the continent as a good speaker. But she's fighting Hagainde's battles. And therefore she has no choice but to fight, fight the appointing authorities' uh, uh, battles. On her own, I'm sure she knows that you don't chase out members of parliament like you are, you are in a kindergarten. Even in a kindergarten, there's order, there's a headmaster, there's prefect, there are systems. So, uh, purely on this front, I am saying that the international community should stop sleeping because they are responsible for installing Haga in the and they should understand that the crisis that Haga and HDMI is funding in this country is detrimental to the future of the continent, first and foremost. And secondly, to the future of Zambia. Because one, we are stagnant. We are not developing economically, politically, and socially. And you, you cannot have a country which is this stagnant. Whether you talk about you know, the, the IMF, the IMF, it is as though the president <laughs> is, the, is, the, is the one who is a minister of finance. And I laugh honestly. Some of us who have done these jobs, we laugh. The minister of finance is de facto the boss for the director of the International Monetary Fund. I cannot have my president telling the whole world that, no, me, I'm on phone with the World Bank here and IMF. 
He's on phone with his juniors and he's relishing that. I want to hear Musogoto and saying this afternoon I had an interaction with the director of, of the World Bank or the, the IMF director or the president or something. I also want to hear that the president has been talking on phone with Joe Biden and Xi Jinping. Those are his colleagues, not these junior officials of the World Bank. They are under our feet. They are our juniors. But obviously, I forgive Haga Inde From Grand Thornton to State House and from the ranch to State House, he has no public office experience. And in his nature, he doesn't listen to advice because we have seasoned civil servants, I'm sure, <laughs> Dr. Musokotuane could sit him down and say, Mr. President, we don't do that. You remember he released a memo that the World Bank had approved <laughs> an allocation. And then a notice sent to him that, sorry, not all directors have acceded to it. He says, oh, I think by now it's six hours. It is never done because that announcement should come from Secretary to the Treasury because he's dealing with his colleagues. But they lack diplomatic etiquette and diplomatic experience. And when you look at that, you wonder where we are going. Look at us as Zambians. God has been kind, some rains are here. But there's complete mess in the field. There's no fertilizer because they've been giving each other contracts. They are the most corrupt regime, not just in Zambia, but on the continent. And I, I, I don't know why uh, uh, the international community, and specifically I'm singling out the Americans. The Americans have always stood for justice, governance, democracy. And here is one, Haka Inde Ichirema, flouting every rule in the book about democracy and governance and what. And they are mute. I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. During the times of when we had the ambassadors here, this man would have been called out a long time ago. But you see, it's a, it's a pity. But we know, we know, some of us know that the West colludes with the International Monetary Fund to cause instability in some regions where the West has interest in getting natural resources. You saw what happened. He went to America and he was given accolades. No, this is a man who doesn't want to talk to the Chinese. We love him. Mm -hmm. So you know it's not about Haga in the Ichilema from my village. It's about my minerals, which they want. That's all. It has nothing to do with, the, no, me, I'm a favorite of the IMF or the West. No, it's about the fact that America controls international monetary fund. America controls the World Bank. The Britain Woods institutions are not our institutions. I would have been expecting by now that we are even making a step towards entering the Brits. But what are we doing? We are too scared because the Americans will say, where are you going? You are entering the BRICS. Zambians, wake up. This man did not come to fix it. He came to fix you. Look at the price of mini meal. Look at the fuel prices. Look at the quacha. Look at the mess in classrooms. Look at the squalor, the debt on the street. Sure. Muleche Mengombe and you are called Bakateka. People are dying. Honestly, Muleche Mengombe, I want to be a We are going to be a What do you stand for? What do you stand for? This country or yourself? So when you ask me these questions about whose problems are they that the opposition are being scattered. Hakainde has no following with the Zambian people. So he thinks his only way to perpetrate his rule is to completely annihilate anything called opposition. That's all. There's no other reason. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below.
Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I will be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.